In this video, you will learn about the Galois counter mode and algorithm for data encryption with message authentication and the use of the same algorithm for only creating a message authentication code called the Galois counter mode message authentication code or GMAC for short. As we saw in the previous video, a common method of encrypting data is to divide the plain text into blocks and then XOR the plain text with a pseudo random string. For counter mode algorithms, the pseudo random string is created by encrypting the output of a counter, hence the name. Therefore, the first block will look like this. Here, the first block value is 1. The E is the encryption algorithm, which in our case is AES 256, encryption using the key K. The output of the encrypted counter is XORed with a block of plain text, and the output is the ciphertext. This process is continued for all n blocks of plain text, with the n blocks of ciphertext being the output we are looking for. However, starting the counter at 1 does not provide enough randomness. Therefore, the counter is concatenated to an initialization vector that acts as a nonce, where a nonce is a number used once. For Galois counter mode, the initialization vector is usually 96 bits, and the counter is 32 bits, creating the desired 128-bit block for the AES encryption, and enabling almost two raised to the 32 blocks of encrypted data before the counter rolls over. If all we wanted was to encrypt the data, we'd be done. However, we also need to ensure the integrity of the data. Like we saw in the previous video, we feed the ciphertext into an exclusive OR, and then through a hashing function, and then feed the result of one stage onto the next stage of the algorithm. Of course, there needs to be some initial state for the hash, and that is provided by sending 128 bits of zero through the AES-256 encryption algorithm and through the hashing function. In addition, the length in the blocks is added to the hash, and the initialization vector is added in too. When people talk about using the Galois counter mode, this is typically what they are talking about. However, the Galois counter mode can also be used just to authenticate the data without encrypting it. This is referred to as additional data and appears in the flowchart like this. That is, the Galois counter mode simultaneously supports the authentication of unencrypted data and the encryption and authentication of plain text data. But while it can do both, Typically, it does one or the other, and if it's only doing the authentication of additional data, then it's called a GMAC, and it looks like this. There you have it, GCM used for encryption and authentication of data, and GMAC just for the authentication of data. And once again, we'll show the whole algorithm.